live? I believe we are live, sir. Yes, sir. We are live again. There we are, live again. Wow. I know, it's amazing. It's like Technology. all day or something. Technology. We've been doing this, uh, trying this stuff out for like the first time ever. Yeah. <laughs> doing such stuff. Yeah, that's uh, pretty wild. It is pretty crazy. I mean, there's but, a lot of equipment out here. But, you know, think about what we're able to do here, right? So, I mean, we, we've, we've, our first gun we took out, we did some shooting with it. Our second gun, we unboxed it, put a scope on it, mm -hmm. then put it on target. In the meantime, we brought everybody along with us, talked about the features of the guns. That's what Range Day is all about. Yeah. I mean, when you go to SHOT Show and go to Range Day, you want to touch, feel, shoot, see. You want to be involved in what's going on. Exactly. And we can do that all virtually. And that's what this is about. That's so, exactly that's, yeah. So today, now in this segment, uh, we're going to talk about the Umrex Origin. Yeah. You've got one. I do. It's a entry level gun, and when I say entry level gun, to me personally, that is any PCP air rifle under five hundred dollars. Okay. I mean, people have the different. I mean, that means different things to them. Sure. That number might be high even for some people, but for me personally, anything under five hundred bucks. Is an entry level. Gun. Okay. And this is well under that. Well, okay, so when you talk entry level PCP, right, mm -hmm. you're looking at a PCP that you then got to add a bunch of stuff to it. So, right. like, if you get a PCP that's $500, you got to get, you either got to get a hand pump. Now, this is a pretty affordable hand pump, we'll call it yeah, that. Inexpensive. It's an inexpensive, affordable, it's actually bundled with this. So, when you're pricing, yes, the put branding, the love, sorry, the JB, that. branding. Um, when you get this, it comes with the pump, right? So yeah, it comes ready to go. And right. Two magazines. Two magazines. So that's that's kind of a cool deal. So if you are getting a regular PCP, like a five hundred dollar, then you're going to buy something to fill it. Generally, you're going to buy a tank, or a, uh, you're probably not going to get a hand pump. Most people are going and, and to the personal gonna compressor. And you're going to probably from different places too. So yeah. now you got to go source things. So w when you really that five hundred dollar PCP really turns out to be more like a grand. Yeah. And then you need a scope. So now you're twelve hundred. Right. So this is 350 as of today-ish, mm -hmm. um, and you do need to put an optic on it, but you can go with a $100 optic or you can go with a $500 optic. They, they let you decide, which, yeah. frankly, thank you. <laughs> thank you for not putting something in here we're not going to use. Just yeah. let us pick the scope we want to use. What we want to use. <clears throat> right. So that, thank you very much. Um, very awesome in that... Uh, you actually get the pump in the box, okay? Yeah, it all comes together. It, the yeah. The pump, the gun, two magazines, the fill probe, everything right. except for the ammo and your scope of choice. Right. Now, this is one thing, and I'm thinking what we may need to do. Do you want to talk about the features? Do you want me to talk uh, about yeah, the features? Yeah, let me go ahead because I'll I'm going to go what? back and flip the, flip the switches on the on the thing, okay? okay? Yeah. Just push the button one time. There's green. Now I'm green. Hey, there you go. You need to be green. Now I got signal. Now Hello? Stuck. Yeah. So should we start over? No, just, you know what, just go through the features of the gun again. Okay, I apologize, so everybody. I'll just, yep. I'll just basically get right to the point. The gun was designed specifically to be hand pumped as an entry level gun that's easy for a person to just add their own scope and grab their ammo and go. So you have to ask yourself, why is this a, a gun that's easier or better to hand pump than any other PCP air rifle? Well, inside here is what they call their ever pressure uh, tank system. Now I've taken this gun completely apart. I've taken the EP brave, brave guy. Yeah, what you know, with guidance. <laughs> do not do this at home, by the way. Do not. It, it is extremely dangerous. All right, just just disclaimer. Okay. Travis is yeah. an engineer. Do not do it. <laughs> they told me not to do it, uh, but you know, of course. You know, Travis I, is I, an engineer. I do things. No, I do, I right. do things right, that I shouldn't do. But anyway, so I took it completely apart to see how the EPT, the Ever Pressure Tank System, works. Um, inside the gun, I'm gonna grab the gun here. Yeah. Let's make sure she's not live. Okay. Okay. So this this gun feels from the bottom down here under this plastic right here. So your probe goes in there and fills it up. There's no um, regulator in this valve. What there is, however, is a plunger that sits down here. Uh, on the opposite side of that plunger is, uh, I think, about 1,500 PSI of air. I'd have to go look at my notes. 
um, and it's filled from the factory up here, pressurizes this, so this plunger is being pushed down with 15, 1800 PSI, I, I can't quite remember. So as you're filling this up with air, as you're hand pumping it, it's pushing the plunger up, okay? And so as the plunger is coming down, it's pushing the air back into the gun, which does one thing that's really cool, and that increases the tank pressure as it's falling. Without that there, the, the pressure would just drop, 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 drop every shot and, and be very inconsistent. So what that does is as it's coming down, it's, comp it's compressing, it's continuously compressing the air um, to give you a better shot string. So I found that I could get about 40 plus shots out of this, you know, when I was shooting at home. Um, and well, it, I'll tell you, tell you what, yes, yes, so, yes, I got, I think, 60 to 80 if I was going to push it. Yeah. But 40 consistent shots. In, in the shots, sweet spot. Yeah, and they were like, you thought the gun was regulated. Exactly. Consi that's, it was so consistent, you really thought the gun was regulated, and rather than a regulator with a plenum and all those other things, they're actually just providing a little boost. It's like a little internal booster to that pressure in there. Yeah, it just keeps it's it, very, like they said, cool. the ever pressure tank system keeps the pressure constant yeah. as you're shooting it. Um, it does have a bell curve. It's pretty steep bell curve if you fill it all the way to max pressure. I found that if I fill it to only 2,800 instead of the recommended 3,000, I get less shots. Well, this but one, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry to interrupt. This one does 250 bar. 250 bar, yeah, yeah 3,600. So, so 36, yeah. Yeah, 3,600, so, yeah, yeah. There you go, there you go. Yeah, so I've, I've, I found if I fill, filled it below the max pressure system that um, it, it had a much better shot curve. So, and, and it, it takes some monkeying around with. Um, there is a hammer spring adjuster back here, and it depends on the ammo you're shooting. So how you adjust this and what weight of ammo you're shooting will determine your fill pressure to me um, to keep it in that, that sweet zone. That being said, once you're in that zone, it is a laser beam. I mean, it is one of the best shooting entry-level air rifles I've ever shot, period, in a story. And it's really, really light. Well, I, I actually asked folks a question. I actually put a statement in the comments, which, which you did not see. And I'm going to ask you my question. Okay. Because I didn't, I didn't ask you this ahead of time. All right. I think, personally, that the Origin is the best entry-level PCP for the first-time PCP buyer. What do you think? Uh, I think you're probably dead on the money. Um, so, someone who's never owned one, they that's, don't... That's exactly right. Don't, someone who's never owned that's right. one... Do, doesn't have a compressor, right. um, doesn't have all the fancy gear that goes along with uh, you know owning and running a PCP, this is probably the best gun you could get just getting into it and the price point sell i mean it yeah. sells it and it would be one thing if it was cheap and didn't shoot well yeah uh, affordable right. and didn't shoot well right but it's affordable and shoots awesome it shoots awesome <laughs> so it really does yeah. and i mean it's got you know it's got a side lever yeah i mean there's nothing there's nothing two less stage trigger that's fully adjustable yeah there's nothing less than about that gun the stock is really nice too. you know and and it is. The stock is really nice. It doesn't feel cheap and pla it's made out of plastic, but it doesn't have that cheap plasticky, um, pumpkin-y feeling. You yeah, know what I mean? Feel like a, it feels solid. Does it feel like a, a Walmart multi-pump plastic? Right, where you feel like stock. you could snap it off by yes, like banging it, on something. It, it feels feel sturdy. Way. It's and it and it handles good. Yeah. You know, it, it it palms really well. Well, do you um, <clears throat> now? Hold and on. I own one of these, so yeah. I'm not just talking about it here, son on the bench. <laughs> I own one. I shoot it regularly. Yeah, I mean, and this one's mine. So, I mean, I, and what I did for the scope, I actually used their, their Aeon. Is that right? Axion, Aeon, Axion. Mm -hmm. There's some that are very close. JB, forgive me. I think it's Axion. Mm, I'm going to get fired. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the scope is their... Um, etched dot reticle. So they had one that was just a duplex, but that was actually an etched mill dot reticle scope, side lever, very nice scope. It's a couple hundred bucks. I mean, it's not like a disposable scope. Right. But for that gun, it really matches up well. So 
It is. It's actually really, really yeah, good. Yeah, and, and here's the thing, too, with this gun. You know, a lot of entry-level scopes that, like that you'll buy at Walmart will come with dovetail rings. Yeah. This has both dovetail and Picatinny yeah. at the top. So you can, cool. you can mount dovetail or Picatinny. Yeah. Um, uh, you know what I'd like nice. to do? Can we tag out for a minute? Sure. What I want to do is... Uh, we've talked about the hand pump. I want to talk a, a little bit about that, but I also want to actually top it off with the ready air. And I know you're going to want to be this side of the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Travis Travis loves how loud it is. It, he knows it's running. He, he's commented how much he appreciates that. Uh, I just don't like loud noises, period. Yeah, he doesn't. Uh, I don't. Uh, that's which, why I shoot PCPs, and that's why I complain a, a lot about... <laughs> brake barrels and big bores and you know yes yeah. yes i'm a pcp snob yeah you are so let's switch out and so i'm going to switch off this i'm going to leave the big camera up okay and then i'm going to just talk a little bit about how to i wonder if i switch uh it, well we, we could try camera two it might give us a better angle on that compressor okay anyway but let's go ahead and switch out is the probe in the box the probe's on the pump i didn't want to lose it oh okay yeah so we're good to go there i'm gonna leave my phone here so you can kind of watch it and we'll just tag out here I'm going to talk a little bit about the pump and filling, and then I'm going to go over to the compressor. So, um, why don't you grab, I'll go over there and run the board. I'll run the board. And then, um, um, we got to hook the I got, I'll, 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 yeah. Let me do it. Do that, yeah. All right, so while he's doing that. And we're running this off the Yeah, I was going to get to that. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so, I live out in the middle of nowhere, um, and Travis has been having fun trying to make cell phone phone calls today <laughs> good luck with that um <laughs> yeah it's tough uh thank god we have it's amazing we can stream this well you know yeah that's don't get me started we have a microwave dsl circuit okay, okay. Uh, i mean barely above broadband but we're doing it praise god all right so um we're we're out in the middle of nowhere we do not have grid power on this property so everything i do here is solar um, my range is solar my workshop is solar um, the beautiful thing about like the ready air compressor over there is it's 12 volt or 110, right? Right. So uh, what I rigged up is I have a gel battery with its own solar panel and a charge controller that I just leave there. And then whenever I bring any of my 12 volt compressors, whether it's ready air or other ones, I just run my cables under and I've got power right at the bench. And I don't have to run an extension cord. Yeah. I just have it's always ready to go. So I love that. Do, do me a favor, Rick. Yeah. When you go over to the uh, ready air, turn it around this way okay. so we can see the cables oh, yeah, yeah, and I'll the vent. Sure, sure, sure. I'll do that. Okay. I got to so, sit like that so they can see the logo. So right now we're at we're at 2,000 PSI, and we could take this up to that 3,650. I'll probably fill it to maybe uh, I'd just go 33. To, let's, go to, let's just go to three, Rick. Uh, and the reason is okay. I know because I own this rifle All right. that that sweet spot where those 40 really, really – Good, All right, tight so I'll, I'll take I'll take the three. Make we'll go happy. three. We'll go three. All right. Mm -hmm. so before I do that, I want to talk a little bit about the pump because um, whenever you get uh, a PCP, you're going to fill it by hand that does not have this ever pressure tank system. It takes a lot of pumps just to get to. Like for, I'll give an example. I was filling up, uh, doing some testing on the gauntlet bottle, and I'm filling this bottle up. And to get to a thousand psi with a good hand pump, took 90 strokes. So I really can't even take a I can't even take my first shot yet, because the gauntlet you really want to be like 12 to 1300 right. psi. So to get to 2000 psi, I had another 90 strokes. Yeah. To get to 3000, I had 270 strokes to fill. Yeah, and the and, gun. and it's that's a lot of work before you even get to go shoot. And, and it is hard when you get up to that pressure. So the cool thing about this is that because you have that boost sort of happening, 13 strokes, you can take a shot with this. Yeah. Okay, from It's empty, a smaller reservoir, so there's a lot less pumping, too. It is, but here's the thing. Because you have that pressure, you're not losing any shots. I yeah, get just exactly. as many shots out of this as I get out of my gauntlet. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty you know, it's a very simple thing the ever pressure system but it works it's really very, well very smart yeah. just very smart so because because you need fewer pumps to go from empty to max it's about 140 strokes okay so it's half as many pumps to have a full gun and i get more shots yeah so i just wanted to put that into, into perspective that with the hand pump uh it's very very usable right 
But let's go over and we'll do the, the compressor here. So you're going to need the probe. We're going to zip over here. Yeah, and like I said, Rick, turn that, turn that bad boy to, around for I'm us. I'm going to do that. All right. All right, so we're going to go like this. And we're going to flip this around. Beautiful. You want to see what I'm doing, huh? Yeah. All right, so I have an extension on this because the hose is relatively short. Um, if you switch over to camera two, does it cut my head off? No, no, it's good. That it has, is the hand pump in the way? No, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah it let's is. Let's move the hand pump, but then we can see what I'm doing with the compressor. There we go. It's a little bit tighter shot, I think. Yeah. Does that work? Yeah. And Excellent. Then, and look more towards that direction. I'll look towards that one right there. Right That's there, right. right there. Perfect. All right, so here's our fill probe. Open this up. Uh, come on. Yeah, there's a little rubber flap yep. under under the bottom. And so this just plugs right in here. Push all the way down too. Yes, it's it, all the way in. So I'm going to come over to my compressor here, and I just need to set my temp or my pressure. So I'm at psi, and it it sets up at 4,500 where it starts. But I'm going to drop this at your request to 3,000. 3,000, my friend. 3,200. 3250. No. <laughs> 33. No. 3000. 3000. All right. 3000. Okay. 29.80. And, and you know what the nice thing about that that uh, Umer Hex Ready Air? 29.80. You can you can adjust it like one psi it's at a one time. One psi increments. It, yes. Yeah, it's so, crazy. Yeah. Now you can set it up for bar too if you want to use bar rather but Sure. If you're from Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Man. Brutal. Uh, can't help myself. Sorry. All right. Now we're getting there. Okay. Oh, gosh. Finger sore. Pushing on that button. All you right. can hold it down. I am holding it down. Oh, okay. All right. 3,001. <laughs> All right. No, 3,000. There it is. Dang it. There it is. 3,000. 3,000. Okay. So before you fire this up, Okay, cool thing about this compressor, I'm going to talk to this camera here. Uh, no oil, no water. Okay, it's oilless, waterless. It's just cooled by fans. Now, because of that, it can get very loud because mm. the fans really sound like uh, a Harrier taking off in your yeah. garage. So it is very loud. Yeah, it, 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 so is, just, it is a really loud little compressor, but boy, does it work good. It does work. And so the other thing is that it has a circuit. So if it gets too hot, which probably won't happen today, as you can see, I'm kind of bundled up. It's a little chilly out here today, um, but as it gets hot, it gets too hot, it'll shut off. Mm -hmm. It cools down, and when you hear the fan stop, you know you can go reset it and have it finish filling up. So uh, it is a manual restart system, but at least it knows to, to shut off when yes, it gets too so hot. It's right. a great safety feature. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to open up the bleeder. You always open the bleeder before you start. You never want to have this thing start on a load. I mean, you want to build up to where it needs to be. So our gun's at 2,000. We're going to take it to 3,000 here. And I'm set, set, we're at 57 degrees on the compressor right now. So I'm going to hit go. All right. You know, that's not as bad outside as it is inside my shop. Right. Well, yeah, we have lots of space here. Yeah, okay. yeah, so it, it's, it's not overwhelming. Inside the shop where I got all the walls. It, okay, it's already, uh, we're up to... 300 psi already. Okay. It's just filling the hose. Yeah, we got a long whip there. Yeah. I ran mine a lot. What? It, it, I've ran mine a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it work, <laughs> and it works pretty good. Well, here's the thing, the fans haven't turned on yet. Yeah, we haven't he heard the Harrier jump jet come on. I don't even know if they will though, because it's so cold out here. It might. I don't know. I think Maybe it comes okay. on about 87 degrees. I think when I measured mine. Is that battery topped up? Huh? Is that battery back there topped up? Oh, yeah. Okay. And that's about what it sounds like on 110 or 12 volt. What do you got now? We're at um, 1400. Okay. Yeah, it's not the fastest.
thing in the world, but it is, I mean, it's got overload protection. It's got a uh, fuse built into it. Um, in case something grounds out. It's a, it's a pretty well thought out little unit. I've got a leak. Okay. The probe. Hold on. I may need some silicone oil. Okay. We had some Go ahead here. and bleed the air off yep. that. All right. So this is one of the things that it's important to note. Uh, did you take? You must take it back. Yeah. Uh, if there are any leaks in your line, and I'm thinking that I, I just need some silicone on this probe. If there's any leaks at all then you're going to have, you know, and I haven't, I haven't tried this extension before, and it may be in my extension hose. I don't know. The O-rings on the Pro, too. Yeah, they look fine. Let's try this. Let's try this yeah. again. And we're in a very dusty environment, too, so we got to probably maybe blow that out in there. Dusty? West Texas. Oh, it's very dusty. All right, let's try this again here. All right. That's all the way in, and it might be this extension. I haven't tested this extension before, so brand new. Let's try it up here. Yeah. Open, the, run. And these are things you should test at home, too, you know, when you're setting things up. Don't just let it sit there and run forever. Check and make sure you don't have leaks on your first run. Hear anything? Yeah. Is it leaking? Might be my hose. I bet it's your foster fitting. Yeah. Well, Ricky, try this. Take your extension off and just set the hose on, to set the butt of the gun on the ground and plug it directly into the, into yeah. the air. I should have tested this before doing this, right? <laughs> well, this is why we're doing all of this, right? So, all right? To work our way out of all of the bugs. And these are problems people can run into also, you know, yeah, at I home. Might have, it might have a bad o There's People don't know, there's actually an O-ring in that. Yeah, that's not something from Umarex. That's just something we no, have yeah, in the shop that's that I got. been used a many, 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 right, many, here, many, you know many times. You know what? Can I just throw this at you? All right, here. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. There you go. Just put the old butt stuck on the ground and let her sit down there. Okay. You know, the one thing I could say about the Ready Air compressor, their whip is awfully short. <laughs> it is short. If it was two feet longer, it'd sure be a lot more It would more be nicer. Use, it'd be a lot more useful. All right. Still leaking? No? Yeah, you just We're gotta... already at 1,200. Yeah, you're, <laughs> yeah. You know what the unfortunate thing is? Now that you ran that so long, that compressor, we're gonna hear the Harrier jump jet take off. <laughs> we're at 2,000, that's, all right, so, yeah, it just, it just opened the valve, so I got a leak in that hose. Yeah. You can feel the, the, the pump actually Lift, Push, yeah, lifting up. Left an EPT plunger. We're at 87, or excuse me, 78 degrees. So we'll see. You might get to hear your Harrier jump jet. We're at 80. I think it has to get up to like 85 or 87. Oh, by the way, he's reading off the temperature yeah. of the unit. Yeah. 82 degrees Fahrenheit. What's the pressure? We're at 2280. Oh, all right. It's going to happen. 84 degrees. Uh-oh. It won't be so bad out here. Here we go. They just went off. I can hear them. There they go. 
I don't know if everyone can hear that or not. But all that that noise, as annoying as it is to me personally, is a great safety feature. We're 2,600 psi. Okay. And yeah, she's moving right along. So it is relatively slow on the fill. Yeah. But it's got that heat cut off and the fans that kick on to prevent it from burning itself up. Yeah, and that's what happens to all these other compressors. They get hot and they burn up. And there's a whole bunch of them on the market. Yeah. That's why they put all of these features in there. The fans, the, the overheat temperature sensor, the, the pump runs at a pretty slow RPM. Just about done. Kill it. Oh, you got to set it to the auto shutoff. Hey! Plane ready to taxi. Sounds like my flight yesterday. <laughs> now those fans will run. I can shut this off right now, but they're, they're meant to run until it cools down and you hear the fans go off. Because I'm not going to use this again, I'm going to shut this off. Yeah. But normally what you want to do is let those run until the unit fully cools down. That's what they're designed for. Yeah. In fact, the only way, only way to shut off is to unhook Un it. Unhook the cable. I'll go around and do it. Awesome. Well, you know, we're already down to 87. Hold on. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's pretty cold out here. It's probably going to cool off pretty rapidly. All right. While that's doing its thing, you guys can put up with that noise. I am going to let Travis, we're going to tag out, and we'll let you take the first shots okay. with it, and I'll go run the camera, all right? And if that doesn't shut off in a second, I'll go unplug it. No worries. Actually, another way that you can do it is you can just pull this fuse out right here. I'll unplug it. Don't ask me how I know. Gee, Travis, how do you know? <laughs> okay. Now, I just did a bad thing. And I know you guys that are paying attention. And I know what you did, too. I walked in front of the gun. Right that was in front very, of the very gun. very bad. So forgive me for doing that. Next time, I will be more well-behaved and walk around the backside. That was very bad. So forgive me. Uh, John asked uh, what compressor we're using. That is the Umarex Ready Air. I'll tell you what, before you take your shot, yeah. do me a favor. Yeah. Flip that compressor around. Oh, you know what? You can't see it anyway. You're in the way. You might be able to see it a little. No, you're in the way. I'm telling you. Eh, never Flip mind then. It's an Umarex Ready Air. It's an Umarex Ready Air. All right, we're going to go picture in picture and we're going to bring up the target. All right, so we are shooting. We're shooting um, a 22 Umarex with the 15.89 grain JSB. Now we're shooting JSBs and we're 50 yards out. 50 yards out. And it is... And once again, this it's, it's blustery. We can't do anything about that. But we're in a real world conditions, just like you'd be at home. So me shooting here, this is we're not highlighting anything. We're not showing you the perfect five shot rounds. This is what's gonna happen in the real world. Yeah. And this is what we're going to do at the expo. So let me get on target here. Wait for the gust to settle down a hair. And uh, try to put some on target. Okay. A little low. Yeah. I'm just going to keep aiming at the bullseye. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty consistent. And and once again, they use the Marauder style 
when I say Marauder style, I really should say Theobin style because they're the ones that really invented this. Um, magazine. So, uh, John also asked uh, if he can fill a small pony bottle. It's not officially designed to do that. It's designed to fill guns. Um, so, I would stick to what the manual says. Yeah, do exactly what the manual says, or you'll void your warranty and uh, yeah, you'll be out one ready air compressor. Yeah, and price point on the compressor is like five fifty. Yeah. So it's twelve volt, one ten portable, uh, serviceable, very easily user serviceable. So it's got a lot going on for it, or going going for it, I should say. There you go. Just had to make a little a little bit of adjustment, but. Um, once again, we're working with an unregulated air rifle, and that means we can fault make follow-up shots, you know, rather quickly without having to worry about coming off the reg. <clears throat> What'd you fill this to? Three thousand? Yeah. Yeah. Probably should have went about twenty-nine hundred. It's very quiet. Twenty too. twenty-nine fifty. It's got a you know it's got a shrouded barrel. It's, it's very quiet. Look at that. How sweet is that? Yeah, it's a great shooter. Like I said, for an entry level gun, this is probably the best. I agree. I mean, it's I've probably had the best. Argue with me, but it's it's hard to, it's hard to beat it. Uh, it's for three fifty. You get to put your own glass on it. it. Comes with a hand pump. You don't have to go hunt something else. You can. I mean, it's. I mean, gosh, I remember when, like, the first bundled gun came out like that with the pump in the box it was 400 bucks yeah and it was not a multi-shot yeah exactly it wasn't wasn't it wasn't a side lever it wasn't side lever didn't have the ever pressure system in it no um yeah so uh, this is uh many many steps up from what you were getting 10 years ago yeah. so we're, this is a solid 50 yards guys i mean this is yeah and, and it's not like it's dead calm wind either I mean, you are you're watching this live. This isn't uh, yeah. pre-recorded. This is you're seeing. And it. I'm not shooting off some kind of perfect. We're sitting in the dirt. This thing's moving around, and yeah. you know, it's 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 doing what a regular guy like you or me would do, without any special. Yeah. Anything. Just works. Just works. Uh, any other features that? really got your attention i mean i like the trigger i don't the trigger is pretty decent yeah um the magazine is very typical typical Every, everybody and they're that. dirt cheap i think they're uh, like 12 yeah, dollars they're really cheap so you could buy a mess of brick them. of them yeah so there's it's really just straightforward um, yeah it really is no weird power adjuster it's just yeah just a straight hammer adjuster in the back shoots. and it just shoots like like i said though if you fill it to its maximum you're going to have a pretty big curve. Curve, so that's why I'd like to bring it down and shoot it in that 40 shot, real tight window. You yep, know where the gotcha. bell curve's pretty small, and then it'll shoot like this. <laughs> right uh, at the bullseye. You know, I mean, it'll keep doing that yeah, it, once Angie. you find out where the the pellet and the and the air pressure is to fill it to. Yeah. You get that balance right, um, and, and it's and it's ready to go. All right. Again. So what Travis is talking about there, we can wrap this up here is we're we're right at thirty minutes, which is a good time. Um, so Angie says real quick, the grip looks like it would be naturally comfortable, and it is. It, it actually fits the contour of your hand very well. Um, no bullseye. Yeah. You just there's no bullseye. That is what you want. Take the red out. Yeah. <laughs> Visine. Travis takes the red out. Um, that is really what you want to see. Out of, out yeah, and, and we're talking about a gun that's very affordable. Three fifty with the pump. Yeah, with the pump. So, and, so, and I and I've heard this too. I I don't really need the pump. I don't want the pump. Well, you're getting the pump anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Give, give it to somebody. Yeah, yeah. It is. Um, you know, for your second PCP, or if you want a tanker, there's some other options. But for your first, out of the box, ready to go. Ready to go. Add a scope, you know, I'll go and, back to that. And the one thing, too, I'll tell you, you know, being up in Mount Shasta where I am, like today, I think it snowed three feet. Yesterday it snowed two and a half feet. Power's been off and on. It's nice to have a hand pump as a backup when there's, you know, when you are when you can't 
fill your guns up. Yeah. You know, it's nice to just put it in a put it away somewhere. So even if you don't plan on using it right away, um, and it comes in the box, just put it in, put it's it a somewhere. It's a great, you know, it's a, you know, put it in the uh, closet. And when the power goes out, you need to fill your gun, and you don't have power. Are you going backpacking or nice going hand. out somewhere, you know, and you only got one tank, and you don't have a ready air compressor or something? <laughs> You're good to go, and it doesn't take. This system doesn't take a lot of pumping. That's 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 the key. Yeah, and that's why they made it the way they made it. Well, let's go ahead, and I'll take the camera back. Once you grab the gun and come up here, we'll wrap this thing up, and we're gonna call it a day. I was okay. hoping to do one more video today, but we're gonna call it a day. Let's see. Let's see. Um, now, JB's being all smart. Butt. Is he being a smart yeah, butt? He is being a little bit. You know, that JB, I uh, there's tell you. There's an old you. joke about uh, 10 pounds heavier, and the joke was, how many cameras do they have on you? Um, I got a bunch on me. I, 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 mean, <laughs> I, uh, I don't think they can put enough on my skinny butt to put here. enough Let me weight on. This camera one, there it is. All right. And, and thanks, JB, you know, <laughs> for setting us up here. Um, yeah. We appreciate uh, everything you guys do at uh, Umarex. You make uh, great, great products and... Um, and you know, they have a really good warranty system, too. And yeah. You can actually this talk one, to a real human being there. What is the warranty of this one? This one is... I think it's a thousand years. A thousand, oh, yeah. No, great. Now we're going to get JB <laughs> out of the case. A thousand years. J JB <laughs> said so. Yeah, no. Uh-uh. I have to look it up. Yeah, anyway. I don't remember either. Oh, uh, I was looking at the box. All right. Anyway, so I, Brian asked, uh, did we crony it? We didn't crony it today. We certainly could have. And, sure. And I think when we do the actual range day, maybe we'll have a, a process we've done run things yeah. through. Well, I can tell you at my house with my personal uh, unit shooting that same exact pellet, I, I dialed it to about 850. Okay. And that's where it seemed to really like it. Yeah, yeah, because there's an accuracy place where sometimes more is it's not, not as more. good. <laughs> and, 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 you know, if you need it to make a little more power, you can crank it up a little bit more. But it's... It's really happy in that 850 yeah, I know, and I think that's, feet per second range. A lot of dome pellets are really happy in that. When you yeah, go beyond 850, that, they get less happy. Yeah. So, and there's right. harmonics involved, too, things like you that. You know what we can do is that we're going to do some studio stuff tomorrow. So you guys have joined us today for an example of what live range day is going to be like at me and Travis here. Now, when we do the actual event, we're hoping to have some other folks out here. I'm hoping to get Airgun Angie out here. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a bit of a hoot. Yeah. I think we have, I'd like to see her uh, work that other gun we were trying to. Work yeah, together. yeah, the that brake be, barrel. That would be a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's see what happens. But uh, this is to give you guys a taste. Tomorrow we're going to be doing some live studio work. Yeah. So uh, we're maybe. Yeah, inside get, a heated building. Inside a heated building. Uh, wood stove heated. Yeah. Yay. Um, Al Natural. Uh, yeah, no, we're going to be in that nice heated building and trying to do some. Um, some studio work we'll talk about some nitty-gritty stuff yeah and kind of get, get into the brass tacks of how these things work uh, yeah. and we'll get into that see some other products yeah and we'll talk about you know maybe some stuff that's controversial because we have different opinions we and we certainly do that's okay yeah. did you know that yeah. it's okay it's okay not to agree with somebody it's okay yeah and so we can actually still be friends and not have the same opinion about an air gun that's right it's or anything thing. yeah anyway guys that's gonna be it uh, we're done I'm gonna go uh, well, I'll tell you what, you took us out last time. Why don't you go back around and get ready to, to cut the feed, you got and I'm going to take us out. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. We've had a ton of fun. We've got about two hours worth of cleanup here to do yeah. before we go eat dinner. Uh, thanks, so, thanks everyone. Th yeah, thank you guys for joining us and all the feedback you've given us today. Uh, we have recorded all of these, so we will be publishing these episodes. You guys go back and see it. And I hope that this stream was better than the last ones because uh, I think I got those settings dialed in. For now, go to www.theairgunexpo and stay up to date on when we finally get our dates nailed down. And then we'll be able to start publishing who's going to be participating, what's going to be going on. Super excited about bringing this to you guys and hope you'll really enjoy it. This is brought to you by uh, Gateway to Air Guns. Guys, if you are wanting to kind of engage in the sport of air gunning and you want to get some really good conversation with some folks that have been doing it for decades, okay? Decades. Uh, there are some guys there that all they want to do is help other people get the most Fantastic out of Fantastic group of people at the GTA. So... You can go there, and Travis, that's his baby. He runs that thing, 
and it's it, they really try and keep it where everybody is just helping one another. That's and keep that's the shenanigans motto. to a minimum. That's right. Very little shenanigans there. We got it. We got a great uh, group of. Um, People, moderators. Moderators. There you go. Moderators. I get them mixed up with LDCs, so we don't want to call them LDCs. <laughs> um, uh, moderators that uh, make sure we don't get any of those big mean threads going. Yeah. So we take care of all that. And, and you guys can go to gatewaytoairguns.org. And they're the ones that really are organizing the Airgun Expo. I am around for the fun of it and all this technical stuff we're doing and having a good time doing it. It's been a blast yeah. today. One, what, can I throw one thing in there real quick? Sure, sure. Hey, for everyone who's uh, watching right now, in, in below, just tell us what you would like to see at the Airgun Expo. Yeah, yeah. what particular guns, products, uh, stuff that you People would like to even? see. People uh, even. And then, hey, the other thing you do is if you can actually reach out to those companies and tell them, hey, we'd love to see uh, your At stuff. At the Airgun Expo. There you and, go. and you guys can help us out that way. Yeah. So that's it for now. I think we're going to go ahead and just wrap it up. Go get dinner. Oh, well. Well, after the two-hour cleanup we, we got going on Take here. all this stuff down. Yeah. All right, guys. That's it. We're out of here. Thanks. Hasta la vista.